supinated cable handle lap pull down. Now, um, setting up your equipment just like this so that you're using two different individual handles as opposed to a fixed bar, this is just going to make getting that supinated position easier, especially if you have limitations on one side versus the other. So it'll feel a lot more natural. Um, the second big thing a part of this movement is making sure that you can lean forward. So a traditional lap pull down machine, you're going to be very close and it's going to force you to arch and extend your back. If that's the case, I want you to bring a bench and set it further back or further away from the attachment point so you can one, get an active stretch, but two, slightly lean forward. I'm going to give you a demonstration as to what that looks like. So grab your handles, set back until you get active stretch. And then you're gonna slightly lean forward, drop the chest, and you're gonna perform the exercise from this position. Stretch, lean forward, twist in the wrist, squeeze. Stretch, lean forward, twist in the wrist, squeeze. Being in that forward position allows you to get more lat engagement because it's depressing your rib cage, which is increasing engagement through your lats. If you have to extend through your back and really arch hard, you're gonna get more mid back, so lower trapezius engagement. What we're trying to do is really try to isolate the lats and squeeze them down as hard as they can. So again, just to reiterate, if the bench attachment is too close, that you can't lean forward like I can't, then get another bench, place it further behind, and set further back so that you can get that active stretch. You can lean forward and perform the movement effectively in this position.